Hey y'all, let me go ahead and just precursor this. This is my disclaimer. I do not watch a lot of American TV to begin with. So you can only imagine how much little I watch of K-drama. <laughs> In terms of Asian dramas, I've watched 26, okay, with nine and a half that I never finished, so technically that's 16 and a half. And I've been into this genre for what, uh, uh, six, five, four years now? I really could not remember the math. So in four years, I've only watched that many dramas. So don't you judge me. At least I can remember everything that I watched. So let's get into this. I was tagged by fellow YouTuber and very fierce Megwala, Fangirls Musing, please go check out her YouTube channel, in her Asian drama tag, which is a part of her TAD, which is talking about dramas. That's one of her segments on her channel. It's 30 questions in this, but since I don't have that many things that I watched, it won't take me long to get through this 30. Question number one and number two. What was the first Asian drama you ever watched and what was the first Korean drama you ever watched? Well, they go hand in hand because the first drama I ever saw was Faith. It had Lee Min Ho in it and that was the first time I've ever seen him before. So for a long time, he was like the big deal all up and through my world. But that was the first thing that I watched. Okay, for this, the first thing was Akuma Chan, which was also known as My Little Nightmare, and it had got in it, and uh, ooh, he was like a prince in the dreams, but he was a, a really bad scientist in it. There was this kid or this woman or something of the sort. No, it was a woman. She was a teacher. She didn't really like being a teacher. She had a student who was weird, who could see things, and yeah, it was weird, and then it abruptly stopped and I just, I was expecting more. It never happened. It came out in 2012. Like, you should really go back and look for it. I have not watched a Taiwanese drama. However, I have watched a Mandarin, uh, or if you just want to cap all it and say a Chinese drama, and it's my favorite one. It was called Divorce Lawyers. It was hilarious. But I highly recommend it if you like things that are melodramatic and have a very good comedic undertone. The female star in it, she's like the equivalent of the country's Angelina Jolie and she's got like so many people who follow her on Weibo and all that good stuff. Like she's she's the bomb. I really don't know how to answer this question. My, my all time favorite, well, yeah. hmm. It is a very, very close tie between Queen of Housewives, which was also known as My Wife is a Superwoman and Heirs. Those two were so impactful for me as a viewer, particularly airs because it was relevant to things that we were socioeconomically and uh, stereotypically experiencing when it came out. And I've spoken about it before a very long time ago. But yeah, those two, and they're both K-dramas, are definitely high on my list. This one was easy. My least favorite was freaking Nail Shop Paris or Flower Boy Nail Shop. It was crap 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 and i only made it through like three episodes okay two and a half i really was just trying to watch it because thunder from in black was in it and i wanted to support him but uh i just it was not good and technically like these next few questions right here i basically answered because a i haven't seen a taiwanese one b i've only seen one japanese i watch more anime than dramas and c i already told you what the favorite was so heh, this ain't gonna take no kind of time Favorite drama OST is from Ayers. I can't remember if it's the first or second one, but which everyone has love is by Bromance. That that is my jam. That was one of my karaoke songs for a minute until they took it out of the selection. Now I just had to think about it in my head. A uh, close runner up to that would be Boys Over Flower and it would be the second and third uh, OST. So yeah, 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 good stuff. Favorite drama opening would be from Kill Me, Heal Me. I thought it was pretty good. And I'm saying opening based on like the first sequences of the first episode. If we want to really be specific and say favorite opening of all time, Iris, the very first one. Not the second one, the first one. That music, as soon as you hear them strings, you're like, ah, it is, it's everything. <laughs> I love it. Favorite drama ending would be from My Lovely Girl, or also known as My Lovable Girl, which had Crystal from FX and Rain in it. And I like the ending because they both put everything on the line to make something happen. Not gonna give away what that is. I don't wanna spoil it if you haven't seen it. But the cool factoid for me was the fact that I stood 
in the area that the ending scene happens in. I got to have that experience. In fact, that was the most exciting part of being where I was at the time, putting my feet right where Rain was standing. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm having a bad girl moment. It was cool. Okay, so the last drama I completed was uh, Mrs. Cop. I used to watch it with uh, my Korean dad and his wife. We would sit down and have dinner and then just like suck in on that. It was overwhelmingly good. I really, really like that. Currently, I'm not watching anything, but if we want to say the last thing I left off on, it would be uh, The Scholar Who Walks the Night. <laughs> I didn't get to finish it. I intended on finishing it. It's been several months, at least nine at this point, so. Eh. I'll get around to it at some point. I do want to watch the drama that has V from BTS in it. I feel like that's definitely worth checking out. Jisung, 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 Jisung. With a side of Jisung. He did what? Six characters of Kill Me, Heal Me? I know it's been a while since he had done anything prior. Took some time away, but yeah, boy. He is not bad on the eyes. <laughs> I am all about Kim Mi Kyung. She's been in so many things. Ironically, fangirl Mu Sing said the same thing. She just couldn't remember the lady's name or how to pronounce it, but she can basically embody any type of character. That's an amazing actress. My favorite K-drama character is a literal tie between An Yuna from Kill Me, Heal Me when Jisung plays her and her crazy obsessed self and then Choi Young Do from Airs. I don't care if that's played by Kim Woo Bin, aka Eyebrows Jr. or if it's played by Song Min Ho from Winner. The character is great all on his own and he is the reason why I had to roll my chopsticks up at a 7-Eleven in Seoul and put it on the counter and furrow my brows and look out the window. I had to have my own personal moment, okay? Don't you judge me. Okay, I know I'm gonna get comments for this, but I dropped anything that had answer me in it, reply and answer me. I tried to watch those and I just, I don't care. <laughs> so it's just not, I don't like, um, they just don't work for me. That's because with K-dramas, you have to go three episodes in before like things happen and you become invested. And I just don't have that kind of time. I'm usually tired or I found something else to do. So that would be it. The other one would be Emergency Couple because I was really raw in my feels. I have a very large, beautiful black heart. And I thought that was gonna like stress me out and make me have the feels. And the first episode when they had that big uh, falling out, if you will, it was just too much. And and with that being said, my favorite genre is action. I don't wanna feel the love. I don't care. I want things to blow up, things to get shot and ran over. I want the, the minimal melodrama though. Like I can't deal with the fact that everybody has cancer in K-dramas, I just can't deal with it. Uh, high School Love On is probably about as emotional as I'll get. That's, that's all I can give you and yeah. Almost all of my favorite instrumental OSTs come from Boys Over Flowers. Uh, just great moments and I've spoken about them before in past vlogs and uh, panels and things of that sort. Those are some very fond memories for me associated with some of those songs from that drama. I don't have a least favorite uh, actor when it comes to Asian dramas, but my least favorite actress is Kim Tae-hee. And whatever next question i was anticipating who are you that had take you on from 2 p.m and i was like man the previews and everything for it looked so dope and it was it was subpar it could have been so much better i did finish it and this character evolved a little bit through it but it could have been better best ending for a trauma <sighs> heard it through the grapevine had a pretty good ending i was I was all right with that. Plus, I just love Lee Jun. He's a phenomenal actor, and that was the first opportunity he had to not look like a psycho, along with uh, Mr. Beck. But I never did finish Mr. Beck. He was just a total butthole in that. The worst ending, though. <sighs> The worst ending was Iris for me because, like, really, you just gonna do that? That's what you choose? And I'm not over it. I'm not over it. And then you, it was. <laughs> There's a lot of layers of wrong in there, okay? Lots of wrong.
I'm gonna have to agree with fangirl musings on this one uh yeah boys over flowers is overrated and it's extremely long but it was the majority of us uh majority of our introduction into k-dramas for those who got into it within the last four to five years like that did it for a lot of us and i just feel like almost paradise is over and done with okay it's done since I don't keep up with it, I feel like I really shouldn't be in a position to talk about something being underrated. Uh, Spy, which has Kim J. Jung in it. That was a little bit on the intense side. Uh, but I don't know if it falls into the whole underrated area. Things that I would recommend you check out. That's what I would rather answer. I recommend you check out I Am Sam. It's, it's old and it's very dated in terms of the recording and you will get agitated with the lead actress, but it is entertaining. And um, the other one would be, I'm looking at my list, the other one would be Dream High. Even though it was like, it was subpar, it was fun to watch, it was a lot of cameos in it. I know a lot of people like to watch Dream High too, especially I guess she's we all about that um me not so much but i do like dream high uh avoid dream night if you're eating it could mess your stomach up because it's just that cheesy i had to really think about this i turned the camera off i'm like do i cry queen of housewives made me cry at one point when they were realizing that everything in their marriage was just crumbling apart i'm like this is just too close for home in my world right now but i really liked it um the drama is about a very popular girl in high school and how she married this cool dude or whatever that she ultimately stole from her friend and then the tables turn years later and now she's not doing all that well and the cool guy's not that cool anymore and the friend who was not that attractive is now blossomingly beautiful beautiful <laughs> beautiful and uh they end up crossing paths again in the corporate world it's very interesting it had quite a few episodes i don't think it needed that many but it's definitely worth checking out uh what had me cr kill me heal me that's on this list a lot. There was a lot of funny stuff in that, and it's it's just, it was phenomenal acting. A drama that I never get tired, I've watched Airs a couple of times, but I usually don't watch these things over and over again because it ruins that first experience you had. I would have to give it much more time than what I've had already in between watching things. Um, I would like to go back and finish The Scholar Who Walks the Night and, uh, try to finish Modern Farmer because it's got uh, Hyungi from uh, FT Island in it and Dating Agency Serrano the first couple of episodes were kind of funny but there's a lot of dramas I would like to get into I just gotta find the time well now that that is finished I'm gonna tag a few people one two three those are the people I would like to see respond to this. If you have some input about some things that you would recommend I check out, and I'm telling you in advance, it's probably not going to happen. But if you just want to tell me anyway, you can put it down in the comments below. And if you've seen some of the ones that I checked out, tell me about your thoughts about them as well. Okay, Maguala's, that's it. Bye, y'all.